Before birth, the baby grows and develops in the uterus or womb. The birthing process begins with regular contractions of the uterus and dilation or opening of the cervix, the narrow opening where the uterus joins the vagina. When the cervix is fully dilated at 10 centimeters, around 4 inches, uterine contractions become stronger and more frequent. The baby goes through a series of passive movements, especially the head. Birth stations indicate how low the baby's head can be felt in the mother's pelvis. The baby's head then begins its passage out of the vagina, called crowning. Labor continues as the baby's head and body pass out of the womb and vagina. There are three stages of labor. Each of these stages varies according to the woman and many other factors. The first stage includes early labor, when the cervix thins, effacement, and begins to open, dilate, from 0 to 3 centimeters. This stage may take hours or days. During active labor, the cervix opens further and contractions become stronger and more frequent. Transition follows with the cervix becoming fully dilated to 10 centimeters and the second stage of labor begins. Contractions in this stage become stronger as the baby is pushed down the birth canal. The head crowns is seen from outside and the baby is finally delivered. The second stage can last minutes to hours. During the third stage, soon after the birth of the baby, the placenta is delivered. The third stage or placental delivery usually occurs within 10 minutes of birth. During delivery, some women experience burning or stinging in the perineum, the diamond-shaped area incorporating the vagina and rectum. This feeling, referred to as the ring of fire, occurs as the vaginal opening is stretched during crowning when the baby's head emerges from the vagina. This burning or stinging is brief. The perineum then becomes numb as vaginal tissue stretches and nerves in the area are blocked. When a woman experiences the ring of fire, she is often advised to stop pushing and focus instead on deep breathing and relaxing the perineal area. The home for a developing fetus is the amniotic sac. Entering the birth canal requires leaving the sac. The sac membrane breaks and the amniotic fluid that filled it, about a quart by the final week of pregnancy, flows out of the vagina. The amniotic sac membrane is thought to help protect the baby's head during labor against the opening cervix. Sometimes the sac membrane breaks naturally when a woman's so-called water breaks, and sometimes the sac is ruptured by the birth attendant. Shoulder dystocia is a rare and serious complication of childbirth. After the baby's head has been delivered, one or both shoulders are stuck and cannot be delivered. Dystocia increases the risk of complications for both the mother and the baby. Multiple maneuvers are employed to resolve the problem. 